what's up guys and so finally finally i brought this rom to you and so you guys have been requesting this rom to make a video on that for a long time i'm really sorry but i was not able to find that rom but finally when i mean finally i got this rom in the xdf forum this is there's only one rom can you believe it only one rom so yeah let's just not waste time and let's do it one more time so let's look at how to install and the overview of Android 7.1 Nougat on the Android One device. Uh, my previous video on Android 7.0 was a huge hit and it was all thanks to you guys. And so I hope that you like guys like this video as well and yeah, you know what to do right? Subscribe and uh, let's just not waste time. Let's get into business and let's look at how to do it. Let's get started. Boom. Things you need to ensure. Um, uh, basically, you know how it goes because in every video I've been saying the same thing over and over again. So do ensure that your device is rooted and you have a custom recovery like uh, TWRP or preferably fills installed on your device. Um, head on to the download section and download the ROM, G apps, and store them according to your preference, uh, be it the internal storage or your micro SD card according to your choice. I have fills recovery installed and will be showing you on that. But believe me, the steps for TWRP are the same. So go on, switch off your phone. Press the power button and the volume up button to be greeted by the fast boot mode. So once you're in the fast boot mode, navigate to recovery and press the volume down button to select the recovery mode. This will boot your phone into fill touch recovery or if you have TWRP recovery installed on your device, whatever. So after that, once you are in recovery, go ahead, hit backup and restore and take a backup so that if by any chance anything goes wrong, you can restore what actually was your vintage OS or the software on which you were. So after you are up with that as well, if you are on TWRP, go to wipe and advanced wipe. So as you can know, uh, Dalvik system data and cache and swipe to wipe. But if you are on fills, go to clean to install a new ROM and select yes for that purpose. So now comes the final step guys, the step which, going, which is going to decide what you are going to install on your phone. Go to install and select wherever you have stored your ROM and G apps. First, go ahead, flash the ROM. After it has completed flashing, go ahead, flash the G apps. So after this humongous task is over, feel free, feel safe, go ahead and hit reboot system. So once we are finally into this ROM, this is the basic lock screen that you get. Uh, let's go ahead and unlock this and this is the default home screen do flash the pixel launcher guys because once you're into this rom you will not get the pixel launcher by default links will be in the download section as always do check it for more info so let's just quickly adjust the brightness and <laughs> let me uh, first go into settings and show you that this truly and i mean genuinely is android 7.1 so let's just head back as you saw and here's a quick demo for the 3d touch that's google implementation for you let's head on to the settings and what do we have over here basically the interesting stuff believe me is in the octopus's tentacles so going into tentacles first up systems basic tweaks one thing that took my eyes was substratum Basically, you can apply themes. The one thing that we have been missing on Android 7.1 these days. More of, it's like CM's theme center. You have tried out that on Euphoria when you first bought it, right? So basically here you can download several and I mean tons of themes from the Play Store. And as different reviewers would put it, you can customize different elements of your device as per your liking. So yeah, quite interesting stuff for Android 7.1 these days. Next up, lock screen. Nothing much to be commented about guys. Okay, moving to status bar. Yeah, a few customizations are there like you can change the battery icon style, looking into clock and date and you can change the position. Quick settings, we all know how it goes. Okay, now moving to navigation and multitasking. 
Ah, the usual drill guys, the usual drill that you get in CM ROMs as well. Okay, now moving into settings. Don't believe me? Check your own settings. Because rest of the list that you see in this ROM is basically everything that is currently on your device if it's running Marshmallow or Lollipop. Don't believe me? Go ahead into settings and check it. So now pun and jokes are finally over guys and now we are moving to the serious part you know serious quote unquote serious the tiny little glitch in this what looks like a perfect bubble is that the camera is not working yeah i'm sorry guys but to say that but the camera is not working moreover i tried with third party apps but every time the camera keeps on crashing and crashing but good news data does work so if you are asking yourself that why should I change my current ROM to 7.1 because I am pretty satisfied with 7.0 Well 1 2 3 So the glitch that finally has been fixed guys is the video playback Not only the video playback you can now finally enjoy YouTube videos and yes I mean that you can finally enjoy my vlogs yeah uh, <laughs> um, yeah, um, I, I know, I know. That's it was really a bad joke. Uh, it was really a bad joke. But yeah, glitch has been fixed. We don't believe that works. So with that, we are up, guys. So what I can do is that I can really, really, really hope that this video was helpful to you. I hope you guys like this video, just like my previous video on the Android one that is 7.0. So if this video was helpful to you, I'll appreciate the day if you can go crazy and I mean smash, hit and break that like button and you know right what to do to, uh, what to, do to support the channel. Um, uh, hit that subscribe button guys, please, it's a request, hit that subscribe button and until next time, stay a freak, stay a geek and uh, see you in my next video. Peace.